Dear residents and friends of Sengkang West SMC, Pongo East SMC, and of course, our beloved Pasir Ris Pongo GRC. How are you feeling tonight? I can hear you! Today, I consider myself one of the luckiest person on the face of earth. Because I could have been born into a place where whatever talents or lack of it that I might be born with, I could be stuck with it. The circumstances could have been a lot worse. And I could have ended up just trying to make ends meet every day, fetching water from a river a mile away to give it to my brothers and sisters so that I can keep them alive. But today, here I stand in this land where the MRT, LRT, bus services are there to help us get us not just to work, not just to our homes, but also to our dreams. Our dreams of becoming a nation where people can get the best shot at education and can prosper in life and do the job that they desire. It is not something that is without struggle, but it is something that if we struggle, we can get to it and therefore achieving our dreams and aspiration of becoming the best that we want to be. This does not come easy. This is also not a natural state. It is only through careful planning, hard work and grit that Singapore and Singaporeans are able to live in a peaceful, stable environment where we can bring food home and also go on to become the person we want to become. This year, we have witness the loss of two great men. First, our beloved founding father of Singapore, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. Isn't he a great man? Yeah. He's given us a lot. My full and respect and admiration to him. And I've had the good opportunity of watching him, what he do, what he does, how he thinks, from a very close distance. And I remember one day at a table where we were just discussing issues, he said that whoever comes stand on the slates of PAP needs not just only have the grit, but also the gut. Because he came from, from an era where he knew that if he turns a corner, he could have been stabbed or harmed by an opposition party. Those were chaotic times and therefore he said he was prepared to sacrifice his life and also because he knew that he had a better half in Mrs. Lee who could take care of the family should anything happen to him. Mrs. Lee provided him with the peace of mind and the sense that his children would be taken very well cared for if anything should happen to him, and therefore allowing him the peace of mind to go all the way for the peace, progress, and security of Singapore. In the same light, I consider myself married to my own country, Singapore. In a sense, all of us are. What kind of spouse do we want to have? What kind of marriage do we want to have? I think most of us would aspire this marriage to be one that will provide the safety, the security, and the peace of mind for us to go as far as we want to go to achieve our dreams. The collective dreams of Singapore is one that our people determines for ourselves. In Chao Bao, in 2014, and I say this in Mandarin, 早报在2014年的时候 
有一则新闻，就一针见血的说明了各国政治的动态。他说，在香港，人们推着政府走；在台湾，人们拉着政府走；在新加坡，政府抱着人民一起走。因为政府跟人民是手牵手、心连心，大家是一起走。所以我信任这个政府。Singapore's government does not abandon its people. It comes to to, together with them and tries to achieve everything together, and that's why tonight you come here on your own free will. You came here not simply just to watch a show or a rally, but you came here to stand for what you believe in, to stand for what you want for your grannies, ye ye, tong kong, papa, chumu, for your papa and mama's future. And most of all, for your own and your children's future. Therefore, I call on all of you today to come along with our candidates, our PAP candidates, in this election. Give them the strongest mandate so that they can then 跟大家一起走，一起走向光明大道，更好的未来，更好的前程。只有人民携手党能够达到这个。So, thank you everyone for coming to this rally on behalf of all the candidates and especially DPM who has led this constituency for the last 19 years to forge a better future for everyone. Thank you very much. Majula Singapore! Majula PAP! Majula Singapore! Majula!